What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and welcome to Pascal's Wager Definitive Edition. So we had actually done some sponsored coverage of the mobile version of this game a couple months ago. Um, a lot of y'all actually really enjoyed it. You were like, yo, for mobile, this is like really, really good. And you were asking for more. And I just kind of like let things fall silent. Couldn't really talk too much about it. And that's because I was waiting for the PC launch, which is now here. Now, obviously, this is a port from a mobile game. So don't expect this to look like Ghost of Tsushima or anything it's super beautiful. Uh, but we do have full resolution support. We have frame rate getting all those beautiful, beautiful frames and just, you know, more more PC settings. Uh, one thing I want to touch on because I'm assuming they're going to patch this. But for those that get this game, uh, the way it booted up for me is it was in pure Chinese. So you go down here to settings. You want to tab uh, on over with your triggers over to here and you can change the... the the, uh, game. I ended up having to use translate on my phone to get it. I'm assuming that'll be like a day one patch. I'm paying uh, pre-release right now, but in case it's not a day one patch, definitely wanted to touch base on that so that anyone else that runs into that problem isn't like, oh no. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm excited to jump into this. I mean, it wasn't bad on the phone, but it was a little bit janky. Um, and, uh, you know, having it on PC is obviously great. Uh, another thing, they've added a casual mode, which is good for those of you that obviously failed to get good. Uh, but we're going to be jumping through on normal. Got all of the fun content. I'm excited to like actually get into this because I I uh, powered through and skipped like all story during the the sponsored stuff because I knew I was going to be waiting for the PC launch. So. What was it? It's complicated. We're within the realm of Hajem. It migrates ever so slowly, taking decades, maybe even centuries. We can barely see its movement. But now we started up again, probably headed to the colossal grave. Hajem's disciples have started on their long journey again. The Sandros will devour this village soon. That's not a concern for the Couriers. Indeed. We have greater missions. Does the Colossal Grave really exist? I don't know. You don't know? But you surrendered your church knighthood for it. That was my choice. You're not interested in the Colossal Grave. Then what are you looking for? Looking for my waifu. We should go. Glenn, stay here and wait for us. Hold on. The disciples here are wary of strangers. Be careful and stay out of trouble. It's the Mard. Go and investigate the village. Let me take care of it. I'll catch up with you soon. Okay. So just to set a couple expectations, because while this game was obviously Souls inspired, uh, there is quite a bit that's different from your standard Souls game. For, for beginners, we have set, like, kind of preset characters that we play as. You don't actually, uh, you know, pick a class or anything like that. And what's actually pretty cool about it is as we, you know, we start with just our, our, uh, our first dude right here. Um, but as we play more, we end up unlocking other characters. And what you can do is, it's like you're playing the game with two characters. So, like, if Terrence gets really low on health, you can switch in to somebody else um, and, and you know, basically swap between two people on the fly. Each of them has their own moveset, own fight style. Um, this guy's kind of, a, he's like a quality build, if you will, you know, a little fast, solid with attacks. Uh, and then you have a dude that's, like, big, beefy strength. You have one that's more of, like, a dexterity, fast attack character. Uh, so there's all kinds of variety uh, built in, but, you know, kind of similar to Mortal Shell in that sense, that you have a, a set 
character play style. Uh, anyway, the stuff we all we all know. Uh, another thing that's really interesting about this game is there is a thing in place known as sanity. Uh, as you play the game, your sanity meter will slowly go down, and when it reaches a state of zero, it can change how uh, how a lot of stuff works. Namely, it has big impacts on the boss. Bosses will enter something known as a lunatic state, where it's uh, my understanding is you get like a bonus achievement for it and some rare items, but the boss is much harder. A Siffler. That's not a good sign. You also have like preset combo moves that you can uh, level up and whatnot. Put that over there. I might get that shortcut later. I remember a lot of this because we, we played through a, a decent chunk of the game. We like played through the first level. I think we played through the first first three maybe. First three areas. But we didn't like go in depth. I basically was just like, I'm getting to the boss. Uh so what do we got? Jellyfish jar, bone fragments are for leveling up. There we go, trophies. Let's just boost my attack. You can like put these on. Ow, you dick. I don't have the uh, throwing knives yet to take care of those guys. So abnormal right now, that is a shift into sanity. Defeating the Mar, the sanity of the character is continually lost. After losing most of their sanity, the character will become abnormal and suffer abnormal effects. Uh, we can rest at an altar or use an elixir to get it back. Elixirs of sanity are equipped in the item menu. That wants me to hop over and use one. I think I need to go over and hit A. We gotta drop down to get that. Let me see. I know there is a, a breakdown of sanity and how it all works use left trigger switch and hold I'm trying to find the breakdown of oh here we go terrence abnormal effects so cannot dodge continuously my health is reduced by 30 percent and my damage goes up by 10 percent Names by dodge continuously is how I can just do that. I need to. I get like a couple of of slow, well timed dodges, and that's it. Ooh, the hedgy. Okay. Um, hedgies are they're well, they're mysterious creatures that nobody knows well. Those who have met are either dead or mad. A few of them have been favored and got unexpected rewards. So you need to give the hedgies stuff, um, and and hope that it, it pleases the hedgy. Either you'll make the hedgy angry, you'll make the hedgy happy, and you'll get a reward, or it'll be indifferent. And it's like, meh. So we're gonna go, I know that there's a, I know purple hates bone fragments, green dislikes azanoth bones, and gold dislikes uh, health potions. So we're gonna try sanity. He's jumping, okay. That means the hedgy is happy. Wait, did, did you want more? Are we good? Did we get something? We donated to you what made you happy, right? Do you want more sanity? I don't know how many times we're supposed to give the hedgy stuff. Oh, no. Alright. Is he giving us? Oh, he did. He did. Okay. Huh. Dominator crystal. Okay. And that's, that's why you want to interact with the hedgies. Apparently those are rare. I don't know much about this game, but there's there's some stuff that was like shoved into me for awareness. And these are like our bonfires.
You're welcome. How's everything over there? Hedrim's fading much faster than we thought. This place is completely contaminated by Sandrils. In the village, there are only some marred monsters. I guess they were Hedrim's disciples. Hedrim looks like it's sick. According to legends of old, it's an omen that the Glossus is preparing for its journey to the grave. Tales are tales. No one has ever seen their falling. Or their grave. What on earth makes it so weak? Have you been to the mountaintop? It's the nearest place to the Colossus. Maybe there are some clues there. We should go and check it out as soon as possible. By the way, I found this on a bridge over there. It's just a common witch's note with some basic alchemy. Nothing special. These are the words from the Blessed Land. But now they're found in Hedgem. Teresa. Teresa? Who's that? The person you're looking for? Don't ask. Hurry up. My carriage won't wait for too long. Let's split up. You go to the mountaintop. I'll look around Hedgem. Be careful. So yeah, like I was saying, these are kind of like the bonfires for the game. And we can dedicate bone fragments. Oh, well. The stats to improve. We really know this. All right. So for you, strength is big boost to attack, resistances, and defense. Dexterity is minor increase to crit rate and attack. Vigorous health. Decent chunk, 86. Intelligence is resistances. Vitality is just straight defense. And endurance is stamina. Um, so this guy... I mean, that's, that's a big gain. 5 in attack. But 36 in health is also pretty significant. Let's go with that for now. You really can't go wrong with upgrading your vigor. There's a thing right there. I don't know how to get down. I probably got to take the roof and drop. So I got to work my way all the way around to get to it. So you can parry in this game, um, but you actually need to pick up like a special ability for it. So until you get that, you just have blocking. There we go. Oh my god, you dick. can't afford anything. One teaches you how to make powder of defense, increase defense for 30 seconds. Um, we just wait. I mean, I can't really afford anything without selling a bunch of stuff, so we'll just hold off on him for now. Now, God. Soul. Is this it? Yeah, it's the drop I wanted. I 
Might as well just top off real fast. One kind of health regenerating effect at a time. So I think this is different from my my other healing thing. Because so I have these heals. These are like my Estus, and I want to say these automatically refill. Yeah, Elixir of Health is different. So it sounds like I can... I wonder if that's what I got from that, that thing I just picked up. People he doesn't know, of course, he understands all the consequences, but he chose to share weal and woe with us anyway. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know what it's good for. It might just be a collectible type thing. So as you fight, you uh, have like a, a build meter. Like the sanity is that thing that's to the right of my health. And to the left is my rage meter. As that builds up, I can execute certain abilities. I don't have a ton right now. But I know as... Well, like I don't know, I'll, I'll just show you later. But basically, I, I, there's a talent tree and key abilities you can unlock to like really ramp up your damage. There's a lot more on the to this game than you would think there is from the surface of it. How can I save you? Go to the statue in a mine and find a tear stone. Oh. Can you believe it? The politest thing in Hedgem. So I'm gonna go into the cave. I know I didn't do that when I was playing before. Um, that way. I know there's a shortcut we can get. Throwing knife. Use a throwing knife to hit enemies in the faraway places. The throwing knives are actually like disgustingly strong. Look at that. Just boom. Leave as soon as possible. The truth you're seeking for is not here. That's the thickness. We'll get him soon. He's pretty badass. A man hiding the it's just a tutorial for plunging attacks. Another hedgy over there. And there's a safe point right there. So I know I need to go this way to get to the cave, but I'm not sure what was over there. We're going to go, go back a little bit. Actually, I don't know if this game has a, a sprint. get this shortcut first. Oh, that's right. There's the lady over here that has the, the mine quest, too. We'll pick up this. Got pages from a diary. We get the shortcut. Um, that's the... It's an NPC quest. I hope we can get some Jerry! <laughs> Jer Jerry! The voice acting in this game, honestly, like, it's... It kind of cracks me up sometimes. You could tell that you know, it's it, um, that they didn't have like native English voice actors, but so some of the voices are just like. <laughs> Where's my Jerry? 
I don't, I don't know, man. It's, there's just something about the way she talks that it cracks me up. I think it. I think it's. I don't know. So there's there's a uh, there's a video you can probably find it on YouTube, and it's like what it's like to have Jigsaw as a roommate, and it's like uh, this guy living with Jigsaw from Saul, and Jigsaw he just keeps playing like ridiculous things on this guy like you're gonna be late for work and your keys are missing they're inside your cat how do you get them out and like the only tool available is like an ice cream scoop so it's just like it's just messed up shit like that but um there's like there's one where like the guy's sleeping and the uh jigsaw's like jerry 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 and like little puppet hands touching his face and he's like jerry and jerry wakes he's like what 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 and he's like you have to pee and your entire room is covered in mouse traps. what will you do and Anyway, long story short, Jerry. It <laughs> every time I hear the Jerry, it, re oh, it reminds me of that mate. sketch, which is just hilarious. What's going on here? The light of Hedim is fading. It is too weak to fight against the Sandrils, and the disciples here have decayed into monsters. Did any of the disciples survive? A courier. Took the surviving disciples to the mine. He said there was treasure that can save Hedim. Did you find it? Yes. The light we found was bright enough to disperse the Sendrils in the mine. Why did you leave the mine? I came out to find Jerry. He left the mine by him. Jerry. Jerry? My dear Jerry. He went outside to play with the John brothers. Oh, yeah, Jerry's dead. dead. I stole the treasure to find my Jerry. I'll see what I... Stranger, if you... Jerry. Alright, so anyway, with her now, though, we can... We'll go on over uh, to the mine. So we got that shortcut really no reason to do that um, we're actually gonna wrap this one up in a second I'm gonna get back over to the uh, the plunge and there's another spot right there another uh, bonfire egg thing uh, so while this isn't actually a walkthrough uh, I am going to I'm, a, I'm gonna make a, a, a like solid effort to try and do everything as I play here like you know if I can basically if I can get done um, all the side quests in this run I'd like to, you know, so Because the thing is I know a lot of you are probably gonna be like hey, you know Is this game also gonna get a walk through like Dark Souls? Um, to be honest we got rise coming up and I know I'm gonna be super busy with that So I don't know but I do expect Pascal's wager can keep me busy All the way up until rise releases. Um, I mean, it's it's the souls like it's a mobile port But it's a mobile port of a pretty damn good souls like so We'll see. I don't. I don't want to make a, make any promises about a, a full walkthrough, but at the very least, I do. Ooh, what is this? Sanity plus five. Uh, I don't really care about sanity though. So these are like all mats that he's selling. I'm still like kind of broke, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think we'll pass. And I think I might actually have enough to do talents now. Let me look. The egg reminds me a lot of. Uh, Reminds me a lot of Berserk. Oh, that's right. I can craft these things. Okay, hang on then. Broken arrow and raw stone. He was selling broken arrows. Oh, wrong button. Human. Broken arrow. You have the stone as well? You don't. I will buy one broken arrow, though. So that thing that we put on earlier, the, the trophy, you can build trophies uh, with with uh certain materials so like this one i just need a raw stone and i can put that on and that's a permanent 15 attack which is pretty significant you know like one one point in strength is five attack and i'm getting 15 from that so it's good um endurance feels good let's let's keep going strength on him strength and vigor for the time being um and then let me see do i have talents yet i don't think i do No, I do not. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to wrap up here. I will have more of this coming your way later today. Um, I think we're going to stick at two per day on this. I think that's that's a, a nice uh, a nice split. Um, 
maybe I'll ramp it up more. I, I don't know. It depends how much I'm recording. You know, things are, are pretty busy right now, even without, um, you know, games aside, life is pretty busy with the baby and all that. So I think two a day is, is solid. But either way, stay tuned. We will have more Pascal's Wager coming your way later. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you all soon enough with more.